Okay, so I'm back. Welcome to those of you, especially those who are streaming with us online. Uh, we are blessed to be able to gather. We're blessed to even, and the reality is now we kind of know how blessed we are before we didn't know how blessed we are to gather, and so now we know it. Um, and so we rejoice for the ability to gather, the ability to make music, the ability to play, pray, the ability to proclaim. Um, this service is designed for prayer. This service is designed in some ways uh, for this belief that we have that, that Jesus is calling us right now as the people of God to pray. Um, the thing is, we should at the same time we're praying be doing the things that everybody else is doing. All the other ways that people are kind of expressing themselves politically and socially and, and moving. But I think the thing that makes us distinct in this courtyard right now is our belief in prayer. I believe that God is actually calling us to, to partner with him. And so, so what I want to ask you to do this service is I wanted to ask you to do probably what you do every time you're in a service, but allow every aspect of the service to lead you in prayer. Uh, allow it to um, let the music, and we throw, the, throw in the lines up here for those of you in-house, in and for those of you online, you have the, you'll have the lyrics with you. Allow those lyrics to be prayer for you. Allow yourself even sometimes to close your eyes and get lost in the presence of God, but pray. And when Erica prays, when EJ prays, when I pray, pray alongside of us with your heart. In this way, um, join us. Let us, be a, let us be a people who pray. And now let us begin praying with the choir.
So one of the things we are allowed to do with social distancing is clap. So feel free at any point. There you go. <laughs> and not just me, the choir too. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, so I want to begin praying by, by in some ways kind of cleaning our spiritual palate. The thing is when we walk into places like this, I know we walk out of busy lives. I know that there are things that are, that are weighing on people. I know there are things that are... Um, you're anxious about, that you're fearful about, there are people that you're worried about, um, there are things that you're excited about, you're probably thinking about the Laker game, don't do that. But in some ways, I want to begin just by kind of praying and letting some things go. Even if it's just for a time period, letting it go and placing it in God's hand, allowing him for the next half an hour, 45 minutes, for God to carry it for you. Trust it into his hands, and what you may find is that trusting things into God's hand is a good way to go about things. So if you don't mind, will you please join me in prayer? All right, Jesus, we begin by worshiping you. We thank you that we are not alone. We thank you that we are not defined by our own actions, our own thoughts, or even our own circumstances. Surely this is part of who we are, but we are also greater than these things. And, and so we ask that you would meet us in this moment. As we slow ourselves down, we can feel the things that agitate within us. We can feel our pain and our anxiety. We can feel the things we're afraid of. We can feel the ways they clamor for attention, demanding we set all else aside. Jesus, each of these things, as they come into our minds, we name them and we place them in your hands. Take our anxiety about work. Take our anxiety about health. Take our anxiety about our parents and our kids. Take our anxiety about politics. Take our anxiety about what other people think, what other people are doing. Jesus, take our anxiety about the future. Lord, take each of these things into your hands. And we ask that you transition us now to fill their, this space, their space, uh, with trust, because you are trustworthy. We ask that you would bear these things for us, if only for the moment. Free us from worry. Free us to know the peace of your partnership. And as you hold them for us, we ask that you would work in both places. Work in us to bring healing and wholeness, to deepen our faith, to strengthen our hope, Work also upon each of these things in your sovereignty. Do what you do. Heal. Speak peace. Provide. Sustain. Orchestrate life. Save us. And this time, Jesus, free us to pray. Free us to intercede for others, for ourselves. Free us to rejoice. And we ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please pray with me. 
Dear Lord, thank you for gathering us here together. As a church and a community, we praise your name. Not just in person, but online, we are connected as one through your praise. Lord, during this time, you know that we feel alone and lost, separated by something that we have no control over. But Lord, you are in control of everything. I pray that you lift our hearts up to you, help your people feel your love, and show them that they are not alone. Show them that you are always there to guide and protect them. Lord, I pray that our church feels your light and that it gives us strength. For all the people who are in the police force, I pray for their protection and understanding. For all the homeless on the streets, I pray for compassion. For all the political people, I pray for wisdom. For people who are alone in their homes, I pray for comfort. And for people who are with family, I pray for patience. For those who have lost loved ones, I pray for peace. Lord, I also pray for the city of Beverly Hills and for the Beverly Hills Presbyterian Church. I also pray for the ministry of the Presbyterian Church and its leaders that they may have the knowledge on how to serve you. I pray for Andrew that he may speak your words to your people and that he may bring comfort to them. Everyone is going through something different, Lord, and I know that you hear their pain and you feel their suffering. But Lord, let them hear your word. Let them feel your love and let them know that they are never alone. We come to you now with the words you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us your debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Most blessed and heavenly Father God, we come to you today saying thank you. Can't hear me? Okay. It's on? Thank you. <laughs> We're going to try that again. Here's take two on the prayer. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for laughter. We thank you for joy. We thank you for peace. We thank you for every gift that you have given us that draws us together, God. On today, we pray for healing. You told us in your word that if your people who are called by your name will turn away from sin, that you will heal our land. God, we come to you saying, heal the land, Lord. Heal our city. Heal our country. Heal our world. Draw us together with everything that connects us and remove from our minds all of the things that divide us. Have your way, Jesus. We thank you for your blood that covers us. We thank you for your word that guides us. It is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. We thank you for grace that is sufficient and unending. We thank you for helping us to trust you every single day, God. We thank you. Lord, help our unbelief. Help the places we doubt. Help us where we fall short and help us to hold to your unchanging hand. We thank you in advance, Lord, for healing, for love, and for peace. In your blessed and holy name we pray. Amen.
Now go in peace. Go in peace knowing that God is with you. He is for you. And he listens to you. And he wants you to talk to him. He wants you to stand in the gap. He wants you to pray for healing, for hope. Friends, our our world needs people praying for healing. Our world needs people praying for hope. You have it. He gives it to you freely. Intercede. Intercede for everybody. And go in the peace that that intercession will bring to you. Amen. One more rule. Don't get up and run away just yet. Allow the ushers to, to lead you out as time to go. But blessings. Upon you and give you and give.